is going on sliders it's a beautiful day with another b58 and today we are doing a downpipe install on a toyota supra we've already removed the air box up here which is very easy just this clamp and the downpipe's almost out i've already loosened up the clamp which is a i believe a 14 millimeter and the bottom one's a 13 millimeter i have also loosened up the o2 sensors from up top and all i gotta do is just wiggle and diggle it out my boy is pretty excited for this install he has uh currently he's currently running jb4 because his dme is locked and he uh he still hasn't uh pulled the trigger on the dme unlock yet so we've got ourselves a nice downpipe um it is a catless downpipe but something i like about this downpipe check it out here it is the what does that say definitely put this in the caption for you guys i can't read it right now but what i really liked about this downpipe is that the secondary o2 sensor is has already comes with a spacer it also comes with some mesh in here. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see that mesh? And it's supposed to replicate a uh, catalyst. So that way um, you won't get an engine light. So that's, this is probably the first time I've seen something like this, at least built into the downpipe, which is pretty awesome. And this is honestly the only reason that my boy bought this um, downpipe. And it's because this guarantees him that he won't get a uh, error code and an engine light with a catless downpipe. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to put this on and see if it's actually true. Downpipe is out, looking beautiful. And we're ready to put in the new one. I'm gonna transfer over the gasket here and the sensors, the O2 sensors. And then it'll be time for the moment of truth. Will the engine light stay on or will it go away? O2 sensors are on the new Catalyst downpipe. The first, the first one is, is out there. The second one is covered. It's gonna be lit. All right, guys, we're under here and the fitment is lovely, I can say better than the fitment on my uh on my downpipe for sure on my 440 looks very nice fitment fit perfectly the bracket also fit perfectly as you guys can see there everything looks nice and sweet look at that no gaps perfect fitment and this downpipe is for gen 1 and gen 2 which is awesome downpipe is on like it never happened especially when you got that stock gearbox there's really no telling what's going on back there really can't see oh wait wait yes you can you see that shiny stuff it's looking good just clearing some codes and then for the test let's hear it That's what I'm talking about. I like it. Woo! That's it. I like that. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's get it off of here and see what it does on the road. That's that's comfort. Not bad, not bad. Good noise, good noise. sounds good no it's not it's not very obnoxious no es demasiado you know suena bien
Yeah, it's nice. You can hear the turbo more, right? I like it, I like it. Not bad at all. That's in comfort mode. Sport mode, huh? <laughs> now we're talking. How did, how's it feel? Good? <laughs> oh yeah. That's sounds great. Yeah, that sounds really good. I like it. It's perfect. This is good sound, really good sound. Callis downpipe successful. No engine light. No engine light. Awesome. I guess it works, guys. I'm definitely gonna put the link in the bio and um, let you guys know which downpipe this is so you guys can get it for your Supra. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> My boy is happy, no engine lights. We're gonna follow up with you guys soon and see if it stays that way. That's all for this video. Stay safe, stay slide. Peace.